On this video, you're gonna find out the best way to go live on Facebook gaming using Streamlabs OBS and Facebook's gaming streaming dashboard. Make sure you like the video up, and if you like the video, please hit that subscribe. If you don't know, it's your boy Rob, Facebook gaming streamer with over 10,000 follows, and I've also helped many people create their Facebook pages for success. And let's get straight to it. You are watching a master at work. All right, now that we're on Facebook on a page we just created on the last video, if you haven't watched the video on that, there's a lot of valuable information. I definitely recommend starting there so you can get your page up and running and get ready to start a live stream. We're going to learn how to go live using Streamlabs OBS. All right, so we're on our Dracula Gaming page. Woo, we made that up. So there's two ways to go live. It might be multiple, but the main ways is going from your page, pressing the live under create, going not from camera you don't want to do this because you can't get your obs like that you go to connect connect is going to give you what we call a stream key right all right so how that works is um if you use a persistent stream key th these are pretty much the numbers that you'll be loading in the obs so that when you live stream through that it'll appear on here and then you press go live on facebook on the last video i showed you how to go live using your page that we just created in the previous episode this is actually the best way to go live using Facebook gaming, unless you're multi-streaming to other platforms. This is going to be where you want to be at. And this is going to be the gaming streaming dashboard. So we're going to go through, I'll talk about it, talk about why it's the best way. Make sure you like the video up, subscribe if you want to see more content, and check out the previous episodes if you haven't made your page yet. Check this out. Now, why I say this is the best is because the Facebook gaming streamer dashboard has so much information that you're going to need while you're growing your page, while you're growing your page. Not only can you go here and click the go live button, by the way, the URL is facebook.com slash gaming slash streamer. After your page is created, type in facebook.com slash gaming slash streamer forward slashes, by the way, and this will take you to the same exact screen. Now, why is this better, you ask? So, why it's better is because you have not only the spot where you can go live, but just in case you're just wondering how to go live from here, boom. Same steps that we did last time. These are the, the server URL and stream key, and I'm not using the persistent one, so I'm not even gonna blur this one. But um, check this out. I'm gonna go through and explain these one more time so you know exactly how to go live the best way. I don't do the new design, I'm used to this, so I stick to this. Check this out here. So I'm gonna bring OBS up real quick so I'll show y'all exactly, hold up, exactly how to put this information into Streamlabs OBS. Okay, you're going to go to your settings wrench. Boom. You're going to go to stream. Mind you, there's a lot of videos on OBS setup that are a lot like very detailed on getting your quality and stuff right. If y'all want me to drop videos like that, let me know in the comments below right now. But um, I'm gonna skip that for now. I'm assuming you got your overlays all that up. So we're gonna go straight to just getting you right. Now, like I said, you could go through the streamers services tabs. I don't do this, although you can, right? I always go custom server, right? Boom, scroll down. The server URL is gonna go boom right here. But like I said, don't share this with anybody. Unless you're trying to be hacked and go viral, you feel me? Because they can go live whenever they want if they have this information. Boom. Or you can go stream key. I mean, you paste your stream key right here. Bop. Okay. Once you do that, you'll press done. All right. So what that's going to do is send a message to Facebook that you want to go live. Before we press that, I'm going to make sure that your, your live is, is right. Okay. We got to make sure that your live is going to set you up for success. What's up? What's good? Okay. So after that, you want to have a good bio, a good um, paragraph where it says say something about your live video. I always make sure to put goals, social media, things like that in here, just so if somebody wants to scroll, they can connect on other platforms. You don't have to paste it every single time. Social media is important and you have something to catch them. You have a hook to make them want to stop by more than just a game in your face, okay? So make sure you put your social media, you know, a tag, a question for your stream, things like that in this tab. Tag a game. We talked about this last time. This is how you get qualified for level up. So make sure you tag the game you're playing. If you switch games, go back to the streamer dashboard and update the game so that can the algorithm can target that audience for you. Let's get straight to the next one. 
add a title to your live broadcast. Why you need this is the same thing. It's a hook. I've seen people put live on every single one live and then put they question of the day. You know what I mean? Which this is going to do is in, it's going to start engagement. Now, another pro tip, like I said, thank you for tuning in to every episode. And thank you for hitting that subscribe button and that like and sharing this video with somebody who needs this. Okay. You'll want to put your question in the title and also make a poll out of that same question. So the followers on your page are going to see the question that you posted because it's the title of your video and everybody else can chime in the new followers the new viewers can chime in and answer the question live on the poll that'll start a debate for you and you can keep running that throughout the whole show if the chat dies you can try you can try and bring the question up and see if you can get a conversation going up next we're going to go to the tags now if you're playing Fortnite, you could tag Fortnite. You could tag first person shooter. As you can see, as you can see, it'll pop up. Well, Fortnite didn't, but look, all these tags, I don't really go too in depth with this, but you'll want to pick two or three tabs, first person shooters, things like that. Um, let me see what comes up. Playing. Look, see, just go through. And if you want, do that. Um, like I said, I don't do it too often. Share the groups. I do this off of my phone. If y'all didn't see the video of how to get your first 1,000 followers, go check that out. It's in the playlist below. Get your first 1,000 followers. I'm going to show you the exact formula. It's below. And then the thumbnail. The thumbnail, you can go into Photoshop. You can you can create a thumbnail that if somebody's scrolling through their Facebook, clouded with information, you can go through and have an image that'll stick out to them, stand out, and make them want to click on your stream okay now that you got that set up you're literally right there you're ahead of the competition you tagged your game you got you got a lot of hooks in there to get people to be interested in pulling up on your live stream so once you have your obs lined up check this out as soon as you hit this go live button right here right you anything you don't want record it you know what i mean just you don't go live to your your tribe until you hit the go live on facebook but just to be safe when you hit this button bop go live okay it's gonna pop up over here bop with your information your resolution all that okay don't be in your nose don't be you know what i'm saying scratch but nah seriously don't do anything you don't want seen by millions of people all right <laughs> but uh or don't say anything you don't want to say so just pretend this is a live button but what i do is after i'm on here i come over here bop go live now i know i did a lot of talking but i hope you found this valuable i say all of this so you have success while you go live because anybody can go live bro everybody can stream bro but this is going to get you right follow this step by step if you haven't gotten to this point go to the first video in this series and just watch them and i'm telling you it's like step by step on how to get your first a thousand followers how to get right on this facebook grind okay Good luck on your journey and don't hesitate. Make your account right now and do me a favor. Pull up on my stream, facebook.com slash the raw gaming. Let me know that you got your page started and you're on the road to 1K. Well, and also if you just want to comment below, I'll definitely check you out. But uh, pull up on a live stream for sure. If you want one on one coaching, I have that available on my Patreon below. And uh, if you have an email response, just one question you want answered, my email is below. Feel free to send me an email. Good luck on your journey. Peace and positivity. Y'all already know. I'll see you on the next episode. It's your boy, Ra, and we out. Don't forget to hit the blue live. That's once you see yourself over here, bop, you know what I'm saying? Once you see yourself over here, when you hit this blue live is when it sends the noti out to everybody. By the way, gang, gang, gang. Y'all stay up. I'll see you on the next one. Come on, Rock. Hey. I got a little, I got a little montage reel, bro. Mm. Rock with the chrome, be y'all alone. Out of this world, this space in my home. Feel like a king, this city that throne. Uh. Got a red bone, she jam every song. Uh. Got me a clingy bit all on my phone. Yeah. Holding me long, I need to fade it. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I forgot your name, but I think it was back. You don't mean disrespect, but I don't need your sex. I just uh. want the neck, then I'm back to the check. Every day Friday